We are seeing this for years. Each day more and more physical stores are getting closed. This is called retail apocalypse. E-commerce started the trend and the pandemic just sped it up. This is a store list affected by retail apocalypse. What are e-commerce brand and physical store brands doing to beat the other side? How is this battle going? Will physical stores exist in 20, 10 or even 5 years? There are 2.1 million e-commerce retailers in the US. And a company named Amazon is accounted for around 50% of online commerce spending. Which means they own half of the market. And they got 47 billion of revenue you know, just last year. But why wouldn't they? They have everything you need. Their system is just perfect. Let's say your crush comes to visit you in three days and she said she likes blue lamps. But you don't have a blue lamp at home. Get dressed, you need to spend time to go to your nearest store and then see if they even have the thing you're looking for. They only have a green lamp. Now you need to go to another store, which is a 10 minute drive from the previous store and luckily they have it. Now go home. But wait. You need to wait 10 minutes in line, then drive home. And how much time did you spend on getting that single item? Or you can go to Amazon, type in what you need, order it and it will arrive the next day. Amazon knows what you will buy next. It suggests to you what you need with a nice blue lamp. Amazon makes you spend more. When we look at the business side of physical stores and e-commerce, it's much more cheaper effective and easier to open an e-commerce store rather than a physical store. First of all, location is really expensive. Real estate market is... I don't need to comment on that. If you want that a lot of people visit your store, you need to go where a lot of movement is happening. Oh, and you also need to spend a lot on inventory. E-commerce, on the other hand, it's really easy to make a store. You can do it by pushing some buttons. Oh, and you don't need inventory at the beginning. You can drop ship. And with online ads, you don't need to put buy two, get one free sign to get customers to visit your store. There is also this thing called email marketing that can help your store a lot. E-commerce took everything you hate about physical stores and removed it. You don't have to physically go to location of the store. You don't have to wait in long lines. That's the beauty of digital age. Look at Netflix, it's like an upgraded blockbuster. You know, that place where you rented movies? Now you don't need to go there physically and return the movie. And Spotify is an upgraded version of music shops. You can listen whatever you want, not just one CD that you saved up a few days from your lunch money to buy. Even a company like Nike is preferring online rather than physical. They developed ways to keep closer tabs with their consumers with their membership program. Just in pandemic, 17 million people joined in. The German cosmetic company Douglas announced it would shut down 20% of its physical stores in Europe by 2022. Inditex, Zara's parent company, check out the latest video, will close 16% of its outlets and shift towards selling online. Gap is considering departing Europe altogether over the next 12 months. Okay, but what about grocery stores? They need to exist. I mean, you go to them almost every day. If they don't exist, how will we survive? Well, delivery apps took care of that. There is no need for physical stores in the future. So why did Amazon open physical stores? The answer is simple. Showrooming. Showrooming is when you see a product in store and then you go online to buy it. 35% of all Americans engage in showrooming. People do that because of lower prices online and free shipping. For example, you see a nice t-shirt in the store and it costs $499. Then you pick up your phone, go to the brand website and see that the t-shirt is 70% off if you buy it online and also have free shipping. That's an amazing deal! Shoppers also want it now and want it fast. 49% of consumers say that they choose stores over the web because they want to take items home immediately. 
Seeing things in person can also reduce the risk that the product will be returned, because it's not the right size, color or material. According to David Sobey, co-founder and CEO of Happy Returns, shoppers return 5-10% to of what they purchase in store, but 15-40% to of what they buy online. That's a lot of profit loss. Retail is a highly competitive industry. While it can be hard to stand out online, physical stores give you the chance to create an engaging brand experience. It's also fun to go on a shopping trip with people you care about. It makes you feel good. Online shopping cannot give you that experience. It's not the same if you buy a comic book on a digital version and a real life version. Where will be a digital version of a comic book in 5 years? Lost in your files, most likely. You will change your phone a few times in that span. But where will be the physical comic book be? Physical comics don't lose value. If you want to sell it in a few years, you could easily earn some money. But who's gonna pay for a digital version? Oh, and that sweet smell of fresh comic book or book is priceless. We like to shop but we don't like to stand in line for 10 minutes. That's why a lot of retailers got these cards where you scan your phone, go shopping, and when you're done, it will take funds from your payment card. That's how they eliminated a huge con of retail shopping. You don't have to wait in line. You feel like a thief maybe, but you'll experience shopping without waiting in line. A lot of e-commerce brands opened physical stores. Because 61% of consumers would rather buy from a brand that has a physical store rather than just has online. Social proof is really important in online shopping and there isn't any better proof than a physical store. A brand can easily buy fake followers. Because of the experience and pros that physical stores can provide to you, they will always coexist with online stores. Google Trends for words where to buy near me isn't zero. Physical stores will never be closed because 85% of shoppers still prefer physical stores rather than online stores. And for that number to drop to zero, I don't know what needs to happen. Physical stores are in hard times because of the retail apocalypse. But hard times create strong men. I mean, a place for innovation. And no amount of technology can ever replace a human touch and human interactions. An algorithm can choose the perfect t-shirt, but it won't be able to understand your excitement about the special t-shirt you got.